It's Friday, October 20th, and if you had any doubts about the potential power of artificial intelligence, well, a story just out in nature should be a wake-up call for all of us humans. According to the article, Google's latest foray into AI, a computer system known as the AlphaGo Zero, is now, quoting here, no longer constrained by the limits of human knowledge, according to those associated with the program. So what does that mean? Well, you probably remember how an earlier version of the AlphaGo computer recently beat the best human Go champion four games to one. Go is a 3,000-year-old Chinese board game considered to be the most complex game known as far as possible positions that can be played. It's much more complex and random than chess. Scientists figured it would be another 10 years before an AI computer could beat a human player. Well, they were wrong. Now, AlphaGo Zero, which is actually an even more simple design than AlphaGo, just played the 100 top human Go players and wiped the floor with all of them. How did it get so good? The original AlphaGo computer learned to play from studying how humans played the game. But AlphaGo Zero used a new scheme called reinforcement learning. Researchers told the computer what the rules of the game were and made winning a reward by earning a point. The computer then played against itself, completely skipping the human competition slash learning step. The result, complete mastery of the game in just two days. But in that time, AlphaGo Zero played millions of matches against itself, learning what moves worked, and according to the Google team, teaching itself moves and strategy no human has used before, thus the 100 to zip thrashing of the human players it encountered afterwards. Worried yet? Fascinated? Both? It's a landmark achievement for AI to be sure and could point a way forward for, of course, better, faster, and very much smarter AI systems that we'll all be working with in the future. We've got a few links related to this very interesting and somewhat scary development in artificial intelligence programming, so check them out to get the whole story and go. Speaking of AI, smart home hubs are popping up like mushrooms after a rainstorm, but the latest entry has our attention. It's the Invoke by audio icon Harman Kardon, and Alexa isn't living inside of it. This time, Microsoft's Cortana Assistant is at your beck and call. The tapered cylinder comes in two finishes and packs some punchy audio performance, putting it in the running against our current audio quality winner, the new Sonos One that features Alexa integration. While the choice of Cortana as the Invoke's AI agent somewhat limits your music choices and some other options, that will probably get worked out down the line as Microsoft pushes more products into the smart home space. Cortana does give the Invoke integration across Windows PCs and some mobile devices, and it will also perform hands-free Skype calls, so bonus points there. We've got a full review of this latest home hub at the link. So are you an internet star showing the world your life via live stream? Well then, we have something new for you. The Samsung 360 Round, an alien looking device studded with no less than 17 4K video cameras for live streaming your existence to the masses in luscious 4K 360 degree virtual reality. The 360 Round also features six spatial audio microphones with inputs for two more, 40 gigs of expandable internal memory, and much more. The 360 round is about eight inches across and it's even water and dust resistant for those special times when you venture outside your purpose-built VR sphere in the basement. Price, not set yet, but a couple leaks indicate it should be about 10 grand when it gets released later this month. Seeing how VR and VR content is expected to be a $200 billion industry in just a few years, we'd call that a bargain. Hey, better get two just to be safe. That's it for DT Daily today. Be sure to check out all the latest tech news at digitaltrends.com. And of course, visit our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And all of our podcasts are on iTunes, so download some to listen to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.